Hey everyone, welcome back to the Atypical Declutter Game. My name is April and you are at Atypical Life. Today's day 16. Today is a tip for when you are feeling overwhelmed and you don't know where to start. I think that there are a bunch of ways to approach this, um, but this is just today's tip. One of my favorite ways is just to walk in the door of a room or the whatever space you're considering needs decluttered and start at that door or start at the very beginning of that space and just start, just start right there where you're at, where your feet are. <laughs> um, or I like to go, um, sometimes I'll, this is the far corner from the door, but I might like to go to the far corner and work my way around. And I will just walk, work literally like in a square around the perimeter of the room. Um, you know, just I'll pick a direction and just go. Okay, so that's it. The video's over. <laughs> There's really not much else to this. Walk in a room, look around what is closest to you. You can go ahead and get out of the way anything that's just out of place if you like. I like to personally, I like to lightly tidy as I declutter, but I try not to get too involved with heavy cleaning, but I, I, I think it's okay to wipe off a shelf. If you've got everything off the shelf, yeah, might as well wipe it off. Like, um, just try not to get Oh, distracted by heavy cleaning. Like, don't be cleaning carpets and stuff if that's not, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do all that. Um, because it, it distracts you from the real goal. But just start decluttering the first area you come to. Unless you have a large chunk of time, I like to keep it really small and manageable. By this, uh, it will probably be one drawer, one rack of clothes. Um, I might do like one basket. Just start with one thing at a time. Don't pull out a uh, huge, throw six drawers of, drawers of clothes on the floor. You're gonna overwhelm yourself and um, it takes a lot of time to do that. So if this isn't something you have a lot of practice with, I would really not recommend that. But just start with a random pile, go through it, declutter what needs to go and put away what's out of place and then move on to the next area. That way it stays simple. So you could do this one and then you can go do the next one. Um, there's a time and a place for big, larger declutters, but I personally think that it's the small declutters that are gonna keep us moving over time. I think that that's the way to approach this over the long haul. This is a really good time to remember to honor your container. So for example, if you're doing a sock drawer and it's over full, consider getting rid of just enough socks to make it easy to use and comfortable or make note that you need to expand sock storage. This is also a really good time to arm yourself with a few of those questions we've talked about. Um, at the end of this challenge, I would like to make a list and maybe a whole video just for the questions. I'm not sure how I'm going to approach that yet, but I found that if you focus on just one or two questions at a time, it has a stronger impact and it keeps it more manageable than having a whole list. Does it have a whole? Does it have this? Does it this? I think that that gets overwhelming and very time consuming. But if you just walk around the room and you're like, is it trash? Is it worth a thousand dollars? Do I use it? And pick out the things that you can see you know, as you're decluttering that don't fit that category. I think that that kind of keeps, like I said, it's more manageable than going through a whole sheet of things. Okay, so this couldn't be a better example of as soon as you walk in the door because this was literally the very first thing you came to when I walked in from my back door. And I had started decluttering the kitchen and this is, this is the very first thing I came to. But the truth was, uh, we weren't playing with it anymore. It was time to let it go. I had to have a moment with it. I said thank you. I did all the things. I took a picture of it. This is the picture of it. And this is the picture of it because I actually forgot to take the picture before I decluttered it. Um, I sold it. So I had cleaned it up and I had taken a better picture of all the accessories. But I forgot to take a kitchen picture of the kitchen itself. So the kitchen and the accessories um, that went with the kitchen are all gone. And now we are at 160 items. And I have replaced this kitchen that I love and I miss, but I've replaced it with a shoe rack that is so much more useful for us. We really, really needed a place to put shoes by the back door when we came in and out from playing or running or whatever we're doing outside. So as sad as I was, we are using the space. It was valuable space and 
I appreciate that it's being used now in a more efficient way. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you like to approach decluttering or if you have any tips. Like I said, I have a few more, but I just tried to share like little bits at a time to keep the videos really short and just easy. Easy, this is about being easy. All right, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.